Sakani sent me their new Sakani Tiny Wireless Microphone, which is very similar to the Rode Wireless Go, which I reviewed a few months back. But is the Sakani Tiny Microphone a Rode Wireless Go killer? Let's test it out. So there are a few advantages the Sakani Tiny has over the Rode Wireless Go, maybe making it a better option for you. One of those advantages are is that the Sakani Tiny is a UHF radio based transmitter and receiver. This operates much like a lot of other wireless microphones out there. So it's going to be a little bit more reliable connection and you're not going to have as many dropouts or cuts. And the other advantage is that the Sakani Tiny comes at a price point of $150. 50 bucks cheaper than the Rode Wireless Go. And just to put icing on the cake, it comes with a lavalier microphone. So that way you don't have to spend an extra $50 to $100 to buy a lav to get up and running. Inside the box you have a nice portable bag that fits everything. You have one transmitter and one receiver, as well as one USB-C recharging cable. Now, that is a con, the Rode Wireless Go comes with two. This only has one, but I never find that to be a problem using one cable on the Rode Wireless Go. So you should be fine. It also comes with the appropriate cable to connect to your camera or to your smartphone if you want to go that route as well as a lavalier microphone, which the Rode Wireless Go does not have. So that's pretty exciting. It also comes with one cold shoe adapter, so you can put this on a tripod, for instance. With that out of the way, let's look at the Sakani Tiny itself. As you see, it's very reminiscent of the Rode Wireless Go. It has a very similar OLED screen, which you can preview your audio, which channel you're on, as well as the battery life. It also has a built-in mic on the transmitter and it does have the same cold shoe mount clip thing which I really enjoy using. I'm glad they kept that. It functions pretty much the same as the Rode Wireless Go that you can just clip it on right into the hot shoe mount which is really convenient. I did find that the hot shoe mount wasn't as secure feeling as the Rode Wireless Go so I do wish they made an improvement on that. What's different however is that the Sakani Tiny has a headphone jack on the receiver and audio adjustments on the transmitter, unlike the Rode Wireless Go, which you can only control the audio sensitivity from the receiver, which is by the camera. You're probably wondering that these microphones are so similar, what is the difference in how they sound? So right now I'm recording with both the Sakani and the Rode Wireless Go, and we can switch between these to see how they sound. I'm using the built-in microphone, and just having out of frame actually provides a really nice quality. I find that the included lav on the Sakani Tiny it does the job, but it doesn't sound fantastic. And one major difference is that the Sakani Tiny is a radio-based UHF transmitter. So just like every typical wireless transmitter receiver, this is the same, same sort of function. The 2.4 gigahertz connection of the Rode Wireless Go when you're outdoors is going to have some trouble with line of sight. So if you happen to turn away from the camera, um, the audio may cut out. That shouldn't be too big of an issue because when do you face away from the camera when talking? However, if that's something that you need, the Sakani has a radio-based frequency, so you're not going to have as many connection losses when you are outdoors. The story changes when you are indoors when it pretty much all functions the same. I want to do an outdoor test, but I thought I would spice it up, so I'm, I'm going to read a poem. Yeah, I'm going to take my horse to the old town road. I'm gonna ride till I can't no more. I'm gonna take my horse to the old town road. I'm gonna ride till I can't no more. Can't nobody tell me nothing. You can't tell me nothing. Ain't nobody tell me nothing. You can't tell me nothing. Thank you. And in my test, I think the Rode Wireless Go has a little bit better sound quality. It's really hard to tell with these outdoor tests. I couldn't tell if it was the wind, the uh, lavalier microphone, or just the independent systems, but it seemed like the Rode Wireless Go was a little bit more consistent and fuller sounding, rather than the Sakani, which seemed to be a little bit less full, and it seemed to be uh, somewhat processed already. So I didn't like the sound coming out of the Sakani with that lav mic, but in this test, hopefully you guys can hear for yourselves um, if that audio difference is a major factor for you.
because I think this could be a really good solution for those who are intrigued by the Rode Wireless Go but need the radio based frequency. If it sounds good enough, I think this could be a great contender for a lot of people. It's such a small design. I think it's great for those who are starting out that want a portable audio setup and don't have to spend too much money for it. So that's going to wrap up the review of the Sakani Tiny Wireless Microphone. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Other than that, I'll see you guys later.